We're starting off with uh, we like Sago, which uh, <clears throat> is a 12th century Japanese poet, and we had read things from the Shinko Kensu, and now there's another collection called Senzeksu. I'll try to pick up some other poems. And these are from wakapoetry.net. Waka is the like the word they used before, haiku. He says he's a, one of the four giants of Waka and that his reputation has been consistently high for since the 12th century. He's admired by Basho. Anyways, I'm going to read a poem. <laughs> and naturally we start about cherry blossoms or blossoms. Poem 69, O Sinabeti. Tis all the same, blossoms in profusion everywhere, and on every mountain's edge white clouds hang. I like this one, a couple of times. Read it again. Tis all the same, blossoms in profusion everywhere, and on every mountain's edge white clouds hang. Now white clouds can symbolize in Buddhism the illusionary world just hanging about, right? They're both illusions. Uh, they're, all, they're all illusions. Yeah, but remember, the moon is enlightenment, so it's not all illusion. But anyways, the next poem is uh, six, 267, which I don't know who numbered them. O Vokatata no. All around me, countless dewdrops, what might they portend? When those which fall upon my sleeve are tears. Hmm. All around me, countless dewdrops, white ma what might they portend? When those which fall upon my sleeve are tears. It's very emotional. Mm -hmm. hmm. Can you tell me the previous one? I like to write. I, I said it was 69. I'm gonna write it. I can get it for you. You want me yeah. to mm -hmm. read it again? I'll send it to you. I'll send it. I can't now. I'm working. <laughs> we're at the Poetry Center. Mm -hmm. Here we are. We're reading Segyo, a 12th century poet. We're at poem 516. It says, when he was traveling after leaving the world, he composed this on seeing the moon over the sea. He says, Wata no fara. He says, across the wide sea sweep from afar, the waves come one by one. From the capital I left, that is the moon I saw. Hmm. He says, across the wide sea sweep from afar, the waves come one by one. When the capo I left, that is the moon I saw. Hmm. Seems we're slow to understand it. <laughs> At least I am. <laughs> Poem 603 says, when the monk Sanji Ju, Seiju, a fellow pilgrim, became ill around autumn time, seeing he had not long to live, Segyo composed. He says, Moro Tomo ni. Together have we gazed and gazed again upon the autumn moon. To do it alone will be sad indeed. I guess he's sad over his friend. Hmm. Poem 605. In reply now. In Kono Yoniti, in this world, to never meet again from the sadness, one on the path is sick at heart. In this world to never meet again from the sadness one on the path is sick at heart. Poem 875 
he says, Shira Zariki, I did not know from the clouds far side came the moon, white in my sleeves to find its lodging. I did not know from the clouds far side came the moon, white in my sleeves to find its lodging. Hmm. Now he says, Afu tu misi. Meeting you, I saw within a dream that night, and woke not. The long sleep is painful yet. Meeting you, I saw within a dream that night. I woke not. The long sleep is painful yet. Hmm. Hmm. Poem 928. Mono mo fidonio. Deep in thoughts of love and not suffering. Someone there must be, yet this pitiful state does seem to be my fate. That's a nice poem. Deep in thoughts of love and not suffering, someone there must be, there, someone, not suffering, someone, there must be, yet this pitiful state does seem to be my fate. No, does that make sense? Hmm. Not suffering. Huh, complicated. Hmm. It's complicated. Poem 929 from the Senzashi of Segyo. Nagak. Nagiki Toto Toti, what grieves me so? The moon? When sunk in thought, it is a pretense text. It is a pretext for my tears, I think. What grieves me so? The moon? When sunk in thought, it is a pretext for my tears, I think. It's awfully emotional, this totally enlightened monk. <laughs> How could he be emotional over the moon? He cries a lot. He cries. Anyways, after he left the world, he saw blossom by the Sura River and composed. After he had left the world, that means he had retired from uh, the city to be a monk. He's like a hermit. Anyways, Tiru Wo Midi. Falling flowers I'd not see, but head home, that is my feeling. Yeah, that is, head home, that is my feeling. The cherry blossoms, how different was my past, reveal perhaps. Mm. It says here, falling flowers I'd not see, oh, maybe before he wouldn't have seen them, but head home. That is my feeling, the cherry blossoms, how different was my past, reveal, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Seems these translations, See, we do laundry today. these translations are a little broken. Yeah, we could, dear, but I gotta finish two more poems. <laughs> mm -hmm. One more, two more. Okay, we're gonna do 1231. It says, Wasi no Yama, composed in the conception of the Zura section, uh, something that would do with the Lotus Sutra. Upon the mountain, Mount of Eagles, the moon shines down, 
seeing it a man, tis lost in darkness within his heart. Is this the Jura section of the Lotus Sutra? Wasi no Yama, upon the Mount of Eagles, this moon shines down, seeing that a man is lost in darkness within his heart. Has to do with Buddhism. <laughs> the last poem is 1278. <clears throat> After he had left Mount Tagano, he went to Futa Migara in the province of Ishii, and hearing that the sacred mountain in the Grand Shrine was called the Mountain of the Divine Way, he composed this, feeling that Tanichi Yare had manifested there. Fugaku Iriti. If to the heights of the divine way one were to tread, still with naught above, the peak would be the pine tree wind that blows. Hmm. Very cosmic. He says, for fu poem 1278, Fukaku Iriti. <clears throat> If to the heights of the divine way one were to tread, still with naught above the peak, t'would be the pine tree wind that blows. It would be what? The pine tree wind that blows. Still, t'would, still with naught above the peak, t'would the pine tree wind that blows. Oh, difficult translation. Anyway, we're reading from wakapoetry.net. From Segyo, reading the Senzazu. Uh, <clears throat> we read uh, some poems from a master of waka poetry, which Basho also liked him. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the lesson. Mm -hmm.